So first of all, we, this is going to be Islamic studies. I'm going to make a, a short introduction, like what's the angle or, or um, what's my take on it, right? If I would come up with a metaphor, just uh, to make to make you understand how I see the current situation in terms of people's uh, knowledge of the deen, people learning or not learning about the deen, think of the situation. Think of someone who got employment, a new job, entirely new thing. The person has to learn about you, what's your job duties, what are your responsibilities, or how, you, how you're supposed to act in this position. Well, what happens if this is the metaphor, the correct, the correct way of behavior would be to learn everything, and then if you don't understand something, you ask, you learn more. In a sense that you can say, I have done my best, I have learned what was available to me, right? Except that the people in this metaphor, they go to, to, uh, to extremes. Some people say, no, I'm not going to learn, no. And people think that their ignorance, their lack of knowledge will be an excuse. But that's not true, because you are employed here to do certain things, so you're supposed to do it, so you're supposed to at least get your job duties. Your first job duty is to know what's your job duties, right? And then you have other people, and other people just make an assumption, no, no matter what I do, it will never be enough. No matter how I try, I will not be able to fulfill anything, so they learn now and then but not in a systematic manner because they don't have hope that they that that they can actually do their job right i think this metaphor kind of uh gives you a sense of what happens to people in terms of knowledge of the dean right i'm i'm glad uh, you, you get my point still i'm going to explain it so basically what we are supposed to do we are supposed to get the basics, we need to learn what we need to learn first. First, you need to know what is that and I'm supposed to know and what is it that I'm supposed to do. You, in this uh, being who you are at this place, in this time, with all the things available to you, with all your, with all your responsibilities, with all your commitments, with all your resources that you have, right? Then, other, then people go to the two different extremes. Some people will say no. Like, I'm good like that. I already mentioned about the sound. Uh, some people say, no, I'm already good like that. People believe that, um, people make assumptions. People don't have knowledge, yet people make lots of assumptions about what, what it is supposed to be. Again, lack of knowledge, ignorance is not an, uh, is not an excuse in this sense. There are some specific situations where ignorance can be excused, but in terms of not learning the Dean, and saying, I did not practice because I didn't know this is not an excuse. Then other people go the entirely different direction. People believe that they can never do things right. It's always living with this kind of, you know, sense of guilt that no, I am bad Muslim, I am sinful Muslim. But just try to learn the din. Maybe you'll find out that all everything what you have is enough. So in other words, uh, you will learn more. You will find out that Allah is not asking you to do more that you can, that, that you can bear. If you can only, uh, if you are sick and you only can pray in your bed, then you're going to be praying in your bed. Allah is not commanding you stand. Yes, and if you are, don't have money, you're not expected to pay zakah, for example. You're unable to go to fight, hajj, it's not obligatory for you, and so on. Many people, if they would learn the deen, they would find out how the deen is actually easy. Easy, not in a sense that it comes with a challenge, right? You want one thing, but maybe it is forbidden, or you don't feel like doing, but it's obligatory. So yes, we have to do what's right. But if we, we, if we learn about it, we will understand that Allah is not asking us to do impossible things. Everything what we are asked to do is within our possibility. And why people don't do it? Well, for whatever reason. Personal, you could say, character, psychological predispositions, maybe. Getting wrong teaching, maybe. But what I want to learn for myself and what I want to teach further uh, for those who want to learn, you need to get clear picture in a sense that uh, people learn the din. 
people attend classes, people read books, people watch video, lectures, whatever. But you see, we need to study it in a systematic method. And what do I mean systematic method? If you study medicine, you're not studying it in a very random way. So, okay, this is the heart and heart, let's say, I don't have four chambers. And this is lungs and this is brain. You need to study it all holistically. For example, what's the connection between, I don't know, breathing and blood? Ah, breathing, oxygen. And then we have blood is circulating. Mm? So you have the whole picture. And then if you have this specific thing, then you need to learn more about this specific thing. So what we need to do, we need to have the whole picture, right? And that's exactly where we're going to start.